OSB, or to give it its proper name, Oriented Strand. We've all seen it, a lot of us use it, but do you really know what it's capable of? Until I came to visit one of the UK's leading manufacturers of OSB up here in Inverness, I had no idea about the qualities and the strength of this wonder material. What I discovered in this factory surprised me, and I think it will surprise you. It made me reassess the values and qualities of oriented strample. OSB gives the appearance of being made up of lots of random scraps of wood waste. So my first surprise was to see that the source is in fact not sawmill waste, but trees direct from the forest. Admittedly, this isn't joinery grade wood. Not all trees grow straight and true. But the important point here is that this is wood that would otherwise never be used by sawmills. But by engineering it into OSB, it takes on an important role, often as a structural element in buildings. And where wood has great strength along the grain, it's relatively weak across the grain. And if it has knots and shakes, this will weaken it further. The OSB manufacturing process eliminates these natural deficiencies so that the end product is consistent and free of defects. This means that architects and structural engineers can predict its performance. This strength is entirely due to its density and layer. There are no soft spots in OSB. OSB is consistent. To make an 18mm thick sheet of OSB, a mat of nearly twice that thickness is compressed under heat. Another thing that surprised me about OSB is how many sizes it comes in. Most of us are fairly familiar with the 8x4 sheets, but it's produced in many different sizes for different applications. It's produced in 8x2s for tongued and grooved flooring and for roofing. An OSB is also made for engineered joists. It can be sanded for joinery and furnishings. Even interior designers have discovered that OSB is not just a structural material, it can also be easy on the eye. So what we've seen there is a brief snapshot of how OSB is made and as you can see far from being a product that's made out of random scraps of sawmill waste it is in fact a finely engineered product. All those strands are cut to a uniform thickness and they're pressed together with resins and waxes to form a durable product that in many ways outperforms plywood in its rigidity and its consistency. And that's why it's gaining popularity in the building sites of Britain. And it's being used in a lot of new and innovative constructions. And to find out about some of those uses, I'm gonna be traveling around the building sites of Britain, looking at OSB and seeing the many and varied ways in which it's used. And I hope you can join me by following any of the links shown on the screen.